Here we can see the lymph node affected by the mixed cellularity type of Hodgkin lymphoma. The architecture of the lymph node could be completely effaced, or as we can see in this case, um, it is just partially effaced uh, with some uh, preserved follicles with uh, germinal centers. Here is one follicle, another one is here, another one here. Um, <clears throat> mixed cellularity Hodgkin lymphoma usually starts as pericardial expansion and uh, it progress to uh, complete infiltration uh, of the lymph node. Mm, so the rest of the lymph node is, uh, is uh, Hodgkin lymphoma and if we use a higher magnification we can see the typical Hodgkin cells and Reed Sternberg cells. So Hodgkin cells are mononuclear cells with uh, large nuclei with prominent nucleoli uh, with halo around the nucleus and reed Sternberg cells are these binucleated cells where two uh, atypical nuclei are um, closely uh, close to each other uh, <clears throat> also with uh, prominent nucleoli and with halo around the nucleus uh, these reed Sternberg cells are commonly described as owl eyes nuclei because it looks like some owl <clears throat> is looking at us uh, from this lymph node. The rest of the cells are just reactive cells so the actual malignant cells are these Hodgkin cells and reed Sternberg cells and the other cells are uh, reactive uh, most commonly lymphocytes, plasma cells and typically eosinophils um, sometimes also neutrophils and histiocytes. Histiocytes could be quite prominent creating granulomas but that's not what we see here. In this part in higher magnification we can see uh, multiple eosinophils with eosinophilic granules in the cytoplasm with bilobed nuclei. So that's quite common in Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, <clears throat> the malignant cells, Hodgkin cells, and Reed Sternberg cells uh, have a typical uh, immunohistochemistry profile. So they are CD30 positive uh, with membranous positivity and also Golgi apparatus positivity. Uh, CD15 is also very commonly positive. However, these cells are negative for CD45 or common leukocyte antigen. Sometimes we can also see mild fibrosis in here and here. So these collagen fibers uh, are usually quite sparse and they do not uh, create nodules and uh, we shouldn't see the thick collagen bundles as in case of nodular sclerosis. Uh, this uh, mixed cellularity Hodgkin lymphoma is the second most common type of classical Hodgkin lymphoma and uh, the most common type is nodular sclerosis. Uh, the difference is uh, also in the localization uh, uh, when the mixed cellularity commonly affects cervical and supraclavicular lymph nodes and it is not commonly seen in me mediastinum uh, unlike uh, nodular sclerosis. As for etiology and risk factors, we should mention that EBV or Epstein-Barr virus is likely responsible and the EBV infection plays important role in pathogenesis. Uh, it is also very common in HIV positive patients and also in these cases it is usually linked to EBV infection. So mixed cellularity Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, thanks for watching.